All right, welcome to another episode. Down here, it's early morning in Grand Isle. And uh, we just starting off on the side of the road right here. Just took my first cast and I uh, don't have anything yet, but hopefully it's gonna be a good day. It's uh, December 19th. Usually these trucks should be down here. Cars driving past 100 miles an hour. It's really windy today. But we're gonna uh, try to overcome and make something happen. I'm out here with Joe and he's down that way. I think he just caught a fish. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk down there and see what he's doing. My last two times down here, I've only caught mostly redfish. Last time I didn't make a video though, I got discouraged. It took us like half the day to find the fish. Once we finally did find them, I didn't even pull the camera out. But if you wanna see that, you can check out uh, M Hood's video. I put a link right there on the card in the corner. So the previous trip I went on down to Grand Isle, planned on catching some specks, but we ended up blanking on the specks pretty much. We fished all up and down the road, we didn't catch any. I had a plan put in place that I was gonna sneak back down the next week which is what you're watching now, and go and catch a boat load of, well, a bank load of speckled trout. It was actually my first time fishing there with a south wind during the winter time, so I wasn't really knowing what to expect. So we went to try to deep pitch where the fish were. Mostly where we ended up fishing on this day was in shallower areas, areas where there was water movement and where fish could get an easy meal because it was warm and the fish were up and feeding and active. The water over here is so clean. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yep. Joan started us off. Can't beat this top water action. Another one. Come on, Joan. I haven't had a blow up yet. Alright, so that's two for Joe and already starting us off right. That one's too small, huh? I don't know if y'all can even see anything on camera yet. We got a nice overcast day though, so hopefully this bite will sustain itself. I wonder if I gotta move over just a little bit more. I haven't had a hit yet. And you're getting hits like almost every cast. It's crazy. I'm going to come over a little more closer to you. Let's see. It hit you every cast. Look. Ooh. He just swirled on it right there. Man, Joan is putting on a clinic right now. Oh. I had to turn. I had to turn the camera off to get my hit at first fish of the day. I don't even know if he's going to keep. It's a dinker. Yeah, try to make more of a splash with it. Damn, I wish I had a popper. There we go, that's the first fish of the day. Good start. Is that a keeper? What do you think? I don't want no small trout anyway. I want them to grow up and get big. Oh, I got my tags with me too. I could have tagged them. Damn. I wonder if you walk out and throw with the wind and work it back into the wave, that'll give you like a better, a better splash. You ever throw a popper for trout? No, no. I just never thought it would work. Right. Seemed like it right like a day like today, like they, I don't know if it's really, oh, come on. Another one? He swirled on it. They kind of small, I guess. This bite is kind of sporadic. They're on that point. That's the third time I've seen something come up, like right on that outside of that point. Oh, 
Come on. Come on. Eat it. There we go. Yeah, that's a good one too. Slow walking it through the zone. Oh, no. That was my first keeper of the day. Let's see. It'll be a good day if I could replicate that. If I can make them hit it again, then we're in business. I'm working this top water. It's a perfect day for top water. You got nice overclass conditions. Maybe it's a little windy, but if you can find a protected bank and just find where the fish are, they're gonna come up and hit it. It doesn't have to be flat calm to throw top water. It's just frustrating. You got to make so many casts to get the one bite. Why can't it be like every third cast? Took me like 25, 30 casts to get that last fish. And then I lost it. And I'm not bad, so I think I deserve to get through. Turn the camera off and I catch a fish. And the little male. I want his uh, his mama. His great grandma. Yeah. It's a little flimsy pole. All right, let's see. Twice in a row. Is it doable? But the wind picked up. Yeah, maybe you cutting through it more. You got to be light-footed. That's all you... Don't break... Try not to break that top... That top surface. <laughs> you got to, like, glide right over it. It ain't worth it anyway, though, man. I can see if I was catching them every cast. Yeah, let's try it while it's early and then come back, you know, to the standby. Ah, that was dumb. That was stupid. <laughs> Never mind, I'm going home now. So we made a big loop. We left from this top water bite. It was just so slow. It took like 50 casts to get a bite. And uh, we just went searching for something a little better. So we bounced around probably seven or eight other spots going back towards Grand Isle. We fished a couple of the deeper pits. We fished down towards Elmer's Island. We stopped a little bit everywhere. We even went onto the island and fished the backside of the island. We fishing off the rocks back there. And uh, there was just really nothing we could find. So we ended up making a big loop back around to where we started with the topwater bite. The bite there was still non-existent and not very um, enthusiastic so we've tried one last spot we went back a little bit further back towards um, the bridge started throwing suspending baits in this little shallow ditch that has some moving water yeah through the through the old one in the original it's that flash all right so the rain just passed the wind has calmed down greatly since this morning. And we just moved down the road a little bit. And uh, seems like we stumbled upon another little trout bite. I caught two further down that way. And then Joan just pulled one on his first cast with the Meridine. I mean, the conditions have actually turned out to be pretty perfect. It was really windy this morning. But now it, uh, it is nice, settled out nicely. So you're not letting it sink? Huh? You didn't let it sink? You just worked it no, high in the water? Kind of mine, like kind of yeah. It's kind of painful, man. I can't catch a fish. Give me a break.
There he is. Oh, that's a big one. My dry spell has concluded. Solid trout right there. Of course, I left the basket. I'm gonna leave him sitting right there. He picked it up as soon as I hit the water down there. We gotta shout out my boy Michael. He put us on this bite. He been he been showing us how to do it all day long. Michael's a monster out here on the side of the road. I have to show you the picture of the fish he caught off the side of the road last year if I can find it. I'll put it up right now. That's a monster. I think it was like seven pounds maybe. He caught it fishing off the side of the road. Don't need a boat or a kayak. Man, I threw it right in that fish's mouth. Hit it like every fifth cast. She pissed me off. No, they not. I, I think that's the problem. It's only like one here, one there. Yeah. Yeah. And I had two hits. I don't know how the hell they hit but they missed it. Yeah. And then after that, that was it right there. Oh man, today has been a rough day. Started off, we had like a pretty quick top water bite. Fish was crashing top water for all of like five minutes. Then it like went cold and then I cast it for like another hundred casts and then I got like another little flurry action, a few little hits, and then that was over. Then we bounced around four or five different spots until we got to here. We had another little flurry of action, but it's kind of to be expected in the winter time. The bite is not going to be always be like hot and heavy every cast. Sometimes you're going to have to work for it and pick them, you know, pick away at them one by one. But it is a steady bite, it's just very slow, very sporadic. One of those grinded out days. It's one o'clock. All right, I think I give up, man. Give up. It's one o'clock. Thanks for watching. There wasn't much to this video, not many fish. Go try it out for yourself. Let me know how you do in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys out there on the water. I also had a new development with my waders. My waders, both feet started leaking at the same time. I don't understand how that could happen. Like, what's the chances of that? That both of them would start to go out together.